What's going on guys? In this video I will show you how to transfer files from your external hard drive onto a Mac. So I'll be using a Seagate external hard drive. So a lot of times it just has something to do with how your uh, external hard drive is formatted. So it's usually formatted in uh, something with the Windows, like uh, Windows format. I think it's a NFTS. So the problem is if you have stuff in it, this is empty right here, but if you have items in it, you'll be able to transfer them on your Mac, but you, you won't be able to add files to your external hard drive. So if you notice, it has the uh, circle with a slash icon on the file, which means no. So I will show you a quick fix how to resolve this problem. So I will warn you though, this will delete everything on your hard drive and my hard drive doesn't have anything on it, but it's just basically going to reformat it to a uh, format that works with Windows and a Mac equally. So all you have to do is go to your disk utility. You can do that quickly by going with uh, command space to open up your spotlight and just type in disk and then it finish it. So just hit enter. So on the disk utility, you got the uh, whatever hard drive you have hooked up to your uh, Mac. So you don't want to mess with this. You'll go down to your external hard drive, and mine's the Seagate. And uh, you'll just go up here and hit erase. Like I said before, this will erase everything on your hard drive. And uh, yeah, if you notice, it's got the Windows NT file system. So NTFS, I don't know if that's what I said earlier, but yeah, it's the Windows file uh, format. So you'll want to click on this and then go to XFAT. I think you can use this, but I don't think you can transfer larger files. I may be wrong, but yeah, you, you'll want to stick with XFAT. Choose XFAT and then tap on erase. And then this should only take a minute. I don't have anything on it, so I don't know if that has any bearing on how fast it will format it but it usually takes well under a minute if it's longer I'll cut to the end okay right there so I didn't even have to do any cuts it took 30 seconds probably so we'll hit done and then we should now be able to add files to this I will add this one just a short video so there you have it it, it will uh, transfer a file to your external hard drive but yeah like I said if you have files on your hard drive I would make sure that you would move them onto your uh, uh, save them somewhere else like either on your Mac if you have room or whatever but yeah so if you found this video helpful uh, give it a thumbs up and check out my channel and maybe subscribe if you like some of the content on it so thanks